Hyperlative. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer, and this is some Modern Warfare 2. Well, actually, um, it looks like Modern Warfare 2, of course, but it's really AlterIW.net's version of Modern Warfare 2, so if you don't know what AlterIW.net is, it's a hacked version of Modern Warfare 2 which allows for uh, the hosting of servers, so one of the things that people, at least on the PC, were missing in Modern Warfare 2 was the support for dedicated servers. So Alter, Alter IW.net uh, put that in there for IW or uh, Infinity Ward, which is um, the, the developers of uh, Modern War the Modern Warfare franchise. So they put the support for um, for uh, um, dedicated servers in there, and they also balance the game somewhat. So. The scavenger packages, they don't um, pick up um, noob tubes anymore. And I also believe that they tweak the damage of the YouTube, not YouTubes, the noob tubes. <laughs> uh, so that they don't do as much damage or they don't have as much um, uh, range, I guess, or splash damage. I, I don't know how they did it, but I I'm sure they did something. And of course, Mostly the people playing uh, AlterIW.net are people that are fed up with Modern Warfare 2, so uh, they're not that um, keen on using the noob tubes either, so it's not that big of a problem overall, really. So, um, in this video, I, I start out with the MP5K, which is the short version of the MP5. Made by Heckler and Koch, um, <laughs> which is a very popular weapon, and it's also based on the base design of uh, the Heckler and Koch G3. As a matter of fact, if, if you guys were wondering, uh, <laughs> well, I start out with the MB5K, which is uh, somewhat of a favorite of mine in Modern Warfare 2. I really enjoy using that weapon. It's uh, it has a good ac hip accuracy. It fires fast, which is something I really like in my weapons. Not in bed. And it um, it feels good, yeah. It's not that good at, at range, of course. Uh, but um, up close, where I mostly want my enemies to be, it does a good job, a really good job. And I like uh, how the how the weapon handles. So, yeah, that's uh, that's all I got to say on that. Uh, you know, I, I, do, you, I did use the UMP, which was not necessarily overpowered. But it, you know, it was one of the better weapons, probably one of the best. I mean, it was, it was that one or the FAMAS, I guess, when people played in MLG and all that uh, pro 1337 late stuff. It was always those weapons. So I guess that's a kind of a good indication of what of which weapons were the better ones. And. Um, People tend to kind of hate on the MP5, and people really miss the classical MP5, uh, the one that's back in Modern Warfare 3 and was present in Call of Duty 4. But uh, I, I have to say, I, I really like uh, I really like the 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 K version. I, I feel kind of, it feels kind of futuristic, and uh, I like the design. It I like that it kind of looks like a small. Uh, like a large handgun, perhaps, but it's really a submachine gun capable of firing a lot of bullets in a very short amount of time. So, but that's me, you know, I, I can use a weapon because of the reload animation, because I think it, that's cool. So that's the end of the game, guys. Uh, as you can see, we're now voting for the next map in the cycle. And I don't have anything more to share with you guys. I'll see you next time. Suckers.